at 8.44, 8 uh, this morning we found the civil suit. Huh? Mm -hmm. Um, number 23-141 uh, mm -hmm. against uh, 10 individuals okay. uh, the first defendant uh, by Vedamurti uh, who is the chairman of uh, INREF against uh, the deputy chief minister of Penang uh, former exco member of Perak uh, Sivanesan uh, Ganabati Rao and ASP Vasinda Kumar and, uh, and uh, 6 other media 3 Tamil press uh, Malaysia Kini, Malaysian Insiders, Star Publications, and uh, yeah, so these are the six press. A lot of allegations uh, about uh, financial mismanagement in Hindref and, and so on and so forth. It has been going on for some time. Um, our office, legal office, was closed. I was in detention in. Uh, in Kamunting for 514 days, whether Murti was overseas, uh, we had great difficulty. Uh, and then uh, our main problem was we never had a second line uh, leadership. And uh, as a result of this, there was a bit of mess when I was arrested uh, with uh, lawyer Manoharan and the others. So the gist of, of, of uh, so there were some problems. Now we have put all our accounts in order and today, with effect from 31st of December 2009, all Hindref monies has been deposited with uh, our accountants. Okay, A to Z has been deposited with our accountants. Uh, the only thing is we needed time to put everything in order, uh, to send out letters, uh, whoever else has called collected money to, to, to re return the money and from now onwards uh, no individual would be handling Hindref monies because of the abuse uh, because of the abuse and unsubstantiated uh, allegations against uh, misuse of money in Hindref all monies would be handled by the accountant uh, from 31st uh, from 1st January 2010 onwards so um, we regret to say that even members of the opposition we are fighting an issue like for example Kampung Buah Pala when we fought Kampung Buah Pala uh, they must address the issue but instead of addressing the issue uh, the deputy chief minister uh, defendant one uh, exco member former exco member defendant two uh, Ganabadi Rao uh, advocate and solicitor and ASP Vasanta Kumar uh, took advantage by hitting us back on the accounts which is I think most unfair we are talking about an issue okay um, they, they cannot hit us back on, on something which is unrelated to the issue. Uh, issue they should they, instead they must answer the question. So in our suit now, basically the main prayers, uh, the main prayers. If you refer to page 37, uh, 37, <coughs> the Gantirogi fitna bertulis libel for libel. We are claiming 10 million against uh, each of the uh, defendants, and even the media when they report. Uh, they cannot simply go around reporting everything because it does damage to an organization, uh, a grassroots organization like Hindref. Uh, there are far reaching implications. So, this is also a message to the press. Just because somebody makes a statement, you cannot go around publishing whatever you like. You know? As far as you're concerned, what is the legal status of Hindra? See, for us, we are entitled to exist by virtue of Article 10 of the Federal Constitution, which provides right to freedom of association is our right is our constitutional right we are ex exercising our constitutional right uh, that's about it the, the minister can revoke but he needs a court order in order to to say hindrev is disbanded you need a court order it cannot be a one man's decision to revoke because this is a, uh, a constitutional right uh, which is the tenth most important piece of legislation in malaysia so it's our right it's in the constitution it's our right one man cannot oh, undo the Article 10 of the Federal Constitution. The rationale behind uh, suing uh, the media involved as well is for, number one is for them to be more cautious in future especially when making allegations which is unfounded eh? number one just because somebody says something you you have a right to cover no I, I think they have to be more cautious number two some media they like to pit one person against the other 
you know for them it's news lah you know number two the third rationale uh, which is a legal rationale is because there's a case law authority which says that if the media is not uh, if the media is not named as a party in the suit uh, the other defendants can apply to strike off the suit lah. so it's, it's a legal requirement that, that we uh, that we uh, included the relevant media who published it you know so